Go ahead. DJJ, uh, Christian Clark here with Noel.com. Um, when, you, when you just look at the, uh, the big picture of season as a whole, um, scoring has, has not been an issue for you guys. It's, it's the opposite side of the ball. Um, what do you think is uh, holding you back on, on the defensive end um, right now? Um, yeah, you know, we, we talk about, you know, protecting the paint and, and closing out. And, you know, it's very hard to do both, but to win, you got to do both. And, you know, I, I think for, you know, specifically in the last, you know, four or five games, with the exception of Memphis, we haven't done that. And, um, you know, it's, if you look across the league, I did a little exercise the other day, you know, eight or nine years ago, Lockout year, for instance, top five or six defenses were 97 points per, per 100 possession, 98, 99, 100. And across the board, the, those ratings are, are through the roof. It, it's incredibly difficult right now with the spacing and the freedom of movement and, and the talent to, to, get, uh, to get stops. And, and we've got to, we've got to, you know, get better relative to the rest of the league. Um, you know, I, I, I had years with Stan where, you know, we had a, a defensive rating in the top five right around 100, you know. We're, we're, we need to get this down. Um, and, a, and a lot of it just has to do with, um, you know, us maybe closing a little harder, taking away more threes. A guy like Damian Lillard tonight, I mean, that's just expert level shot making. Um, there's not much you can do. Truthfully, there's just not much you can do. And uh, when you commit two to the ball against a guy like him or against a guy like Zach Levine, you're, you're naturally going to be in rotation, naturally going to be in, in scramble situations. And, and you've got to be really good in those situations to get a stop. That's just reality. Uh, you know, you make one mistake on a closeout uh, in a scramble, and, and there's, a, there's a downhill effect to that. Yeah, what up, DJ? This is Will from the Athletic. Just from your vantage point, uh, what you see on that last possession and what you think about the two shots you guys got up for the buzzer? Yeah, I, I, I was in the corner for the first part of it. And then, um, so from my vantage point, B.I. You know, looked to make a move. I thought Cove uh, did a nice job of just staying with him. And, uh, and, and, you know, I thought Zoe's shot was good. And then from there, we just, you know, we just had to, figure out a way. Willie made a big play to get the tap back. I think it was Willie, um, whoever it was, Zion, uh, Josh, somebody, Josh, it was Josh. Um, so that was a big play and, and, you know, we got, we got two looks. That's all you can ask for. Hey, Zion, it's Scott with Noel.com. You know, you've been around the league a while. You've been around some good combinations. Uh, Y'all have played a ton of close games. How important are these reps for B.I. and Zion? These are the guys that are kind of building this team, even to fail together sometimes to, to get those opportunities. How, how much does that matter as you start to build this thing um, and they try to you know, kind of create this combination together? I think you get better in this league from experience. And so the more experience you can get in, um, in close games, in clutch situations, uh, the better it will be for, for them and for this team long term. You know, those guys are, are you know, so talented and, 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 the, and the limit's so high on them. Um, and they're so young still and, they're, and they're, they're still figuring it out. And they've, and holy shit, you know, them figuring it out is doing what they do on a nightly basis, putting up all star level numbers. So it's scary how, both they, how, how good they both can be and will be. And, uh, and, and the more situations they get like tonight, uh, I think long-term they'll be better. Yeah, uh, we saw for the past two nights, you guys have a ton of success with that two-man game with uh, you and Zion. Just what's it been like uh, developing chemistry on that play? And how much do you think it's helped your offense as well being able to establish that design? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the probably the best screeners in the NBA. Yeah, I know I, I don't look it, but I am. Um, so it's it's just it's a game of chess, and Zion is is strong enough and uh, handles the ball well enough that he can figure it out, and that's all it comes down to. Um, you know, w the other stuff. You know, this couple shots tonight was off DHOs with him or whatever. Um, that that's we've been running that all season. But the but the the, the play with him handling and me screening or with Zoe screening. Um, 
we haven't run that a, it, to a high degree of, of reps, uh, but the last few, you know, last obviously last night and tonight we did, and um, it puts the defense in a in a conundrum. Um, JJ, I just had one more question about the defense, real quick. Um, the, the, the way you guys play um, this style, I mean, is that is that like a high degree of difficulty? Is it is it? I mean, a very difficult thing to pull off to both protect the paint and then make that that long rotation to get out there. It is. Um, you, you, players are too good in this league, so you're going to have to live with something. So the alternative to, let's say, tonight would be um, putting the big back in pick and roll and letting Damian Lillard shoot pull-up jumpers all night. I have a high degree of confidence that he's going to probably still end up with 40-some points. Um, you know, what, what the other guys do, I don't know. Um, but you're going to give up something. And... You know, Dame, you know, I, I think as much as it was the um, some of the shots he hit, it was just the way he – and he sees it every night almost. But, you know, the way he was able to, to attack the second defender in either splits or, or just using his quickness to get around, and that's sort of what created, you know, shots for other guys. And, and, and they're – again, they see this every night. So – you know, a lot of teams will will space the two guys on the weak side. Well, they see it every night. They've got Derek Jones Jr. in the corner. Tonight, Melo got one too, where they're now cutting, um, which puts extra pressure on that back line. No one's there for the slot guy. Sometimes the, the cutter gets behind the low man. It's it's tough to defend. Um, so, you're, you're again, you're going to pick your poison. Thanks, JJ. All right, thanks.